this is a real scene, but inside my simulation. These are Gaussian splats within NVIDIA's Omniverse simulation platform i6M. Let's have a look on what this exactly means, what impact it plays on digital twins, synthetic data and robotics, and then also learn how to recreate it yourself by only using a phone camera. Hi, my name is Momir, also known as Litchi AI from FS Studio, and I'm going to show you how to recreate scenes like these within the open sourced i6M 5.0. But before, let's first clarify what we are seeing on the screen. These are Gaussian splats, which are created by converting a video, captured for example by a smartphone, into a 3D scene using extracted frames, camera tracking, and optimization. These are technically tiny blurry dots, but when rendered together, show realistic 3D scenes. Now Gaussian spats are nothing new, but what makes this incredible is that these can now be converted into the USD format, which is what NVIDIA's Omniverse simulation platforms are using. And this allows us to import our highly realistic renders into our stage. Not only could we import multiple Gaussian spats in one scene and have very nice visual animations, but they also act to visually improve digital twins and are especially useful for synthetic data generation. IsaacSim, with its replicator extension, is able to generate synthetic data with perfect annotations, for example for RGB, depth, segmentation and much more. And now thanks to the new Gaussian spats in its USD format, we can now generate data with hyper-realistic backgrounds, which mimic real-world scenarios. This can be also very useful for AI vision-based robotics training, leveraging simulation for imitation and reinforcement learning tasks. Okay, now let's learn how to recreate this with your own video recordings. So step one is to record your environment. There are a lot of tutorials explaining what important things to consider when recording, but for now, just make sure to have strong lightning and consistently move around the target with smooth motion. Step two is to generate your splats. I'm using JawSet PostShot, which lets us drop our video inside and train the model. This is taking care of extracting frames, camera angles, and optimization. In step three, after generating our PLY file, we can now clean it, for example, with Supersplat. Here, I'm creating a box to extract my robot and also to clean some unwanted splats. Step four is to clone the 3D grid repo, which enables the Gaussian splat to use the conversion. I use the Docker setup, which in short lets you have a perfect pre-made setup to avoid bunch of compatibility errors. Now, all that's left to do is to launch the conversion script, and voila, we have our USD file. Let's now head into Isaac Sim, create a small stage, and import our new Gaussian splat as USDZ. We adjust this stage and that's it. We can now, for example, generate synthetic data or train robotics tasks. This was just a small demo, but if you're interested in more, reach out to us at FS Studio to get help from our experts providing digital enterprise solutions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.